you know, basically in Turkey, studies have indicated that at 16 weeks or 17 weeks, you're talking about additional one pound of body weight mm. and about a two point increase in feed in feed key feed conversion. Also, in large scale studies, mortality has been decreased. Uh, in one study at 16 weeks, mortality was decreased by 17 percent. Another study at 19 weeks, it was decreased by 30 percent. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Poultry Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. We bring you the latest in poultry nutrition uh, research and industry trends in approximately 10 minutes. Uh, I'm one of the co-hosts of the show, uh, Sam Rocho, Associate Professor of Poultry Nutrition here at Auburn University. Uh, and joined today by kind of one of the longtime legends in, in trace mineral nutrition for sure, uh, Dr. Jerry Spears, who had an esteemed career uh, at NC State uh, working both ruminants and, and non-ruminants some, and uh, has, has been working as an animal consultant uh, for the last several years. And so I uh, really look forward to, to learn more about what you've been up to, Dr. Spears. Thank you. So I know uh, you, you work with a lot of different trace minerals, uh, and recently you, you spent a lot of time focusing on uh, chromium, particularly working with Kimin, who has a product, uh, Kim Trace Chromium. So can you explain a little bit uh, mm -hmm. how the, this chromium works and, and what it does, specifically around the physiology of, of turkeys? Because I know that's a species that you've been working in a lot. Chromium functions to enhance insulin sensitivity in mm -hmm. uh, insulin tissues that depend on insulin for glucose uptake. Uh, it's known that poultry are more resistant to insulin than other mammals, particularly. However, there is good evidence that uh, poultry, that insulin is important in poultry in terms of uh, glucose homeostasis. Sure. Now, chromium propionate or chemtrace chromium propionate is the only chromium source approved for use in turkey diets. Okay. Same thing would be true for broilers. It's approved to, to use up to 0 0.02 milligrams per kilogram of diet. Kemen calls all poultry experts. You already know the key to a profitable operation is healthy, productive birds. Our team of poultry experts are driven by curiosity to develop science-backed ingredients and solutions that help you maintain feed and water quality, improve intestinal health, optimize nutrition, and eliminate pathogens. Learn more today by diving in at kemen.com forward slash poultry to learn more. Focus on glucose metabolism, uh, and, and what does that ultimately lead to? You know, measurable benefits when we talk about supplementing chromium. I mean, uh, we know that's important, but what are kind of the outcomes uh, under different scenarios for turkeys when we when we supplement chromium? You know, basically, in turkey studies have indicated that at 16 weeks or 17 weeks, you're talking about additional one pound of body weight mm. and about a two point increase in feed in feed if it, key feed conversion. Also, in large scale studies, mortality has been decreased. Uh, in one study at 16 weeks, mortality was decreased by 17%. Another study at 19 weeks, it was decreased by 30%. And it's known that chromium can affect the immune, does affect the immune response. Matter of fact, a number of immune cells, when they're particularly when they're activated, they do have insulin receptors and they are using a lot of glucose. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. We know that uh, we think about this a lot. It's hard to quantify, but nutritionists talk a lot about the, the energy demands of the immune response. And uh, mm -hmm. it seems like chromium may be a play in facilitating that, that energy uh, needs of the immune cells to, to mount the appropriate response. And, you know, when we talk about turkeys, we know there's a lot of stress factors. Uh, transport, I mean, these are big birds. So moving them around can be very stressful. Uh, to that same end, you know, dealing with heat uh, under summer conditions or other environmental stressors and then uh, disease changes. Is, is, do we see more opportunity for, uh, you know, uh, trace mineral interventions with chromium in, in situations like this? Uh, yes, uh, there's good evidence that chromium does uh, serve to reduce the level of stress. Corticosteroid, the horm stress hormone that's released in birds, uh, it does increase during stress and this has a negative effect on insulin sensitivity, and also glucose uptake. Okay. Uh, studies have indicated that uh, in one study after vaccination and moving from the brooder to the, the grow-out facility, uh, corticosteroid concentrations reduced by, were about 20% lower in those getting chromium. Mm. 
Yeah. Compared to controls. Yeah. Yeah. So we know that's a stressful time in, in that move. And as you mentioned, following uh, vaccination. So those are uh, key things. Um, what about, uh, you know, on the on the processing side? Have you seen any of these translate to, to changes on, on meat yield or meat quality in any regard? Well, that really hadn't been looked at much in turkeys. In broilers, it has. Sure. Broilers, chromium propionate has been shown to increase breast meat yield in several studies. But in turkeys, uh, very little has been done in that area at this point. Of course, chromium propionate was just approved for use in turkey diets in 2024. Sure. So yeah. it's still yeah. you know, fairly new. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I was kind of familiar in some of those responses in broilers. And I didn't know if that, that translated to turkeys, but maybe too early to tell yet. So, Well, we expect with the increased gain that we're seeing during the growth phase, we expect, you know, that it is causing more muscle. So one would expect increased breast muscle yield. So at the end of the day, I mean, uh, a lot of these benefits are, are good in health performance, but ultimately, you know, um, it, it, we do have to think about the economic return and, and any feed additive does require some investment on the front end. So um, have you been looking at the, the economic ROI on this uh, product as well? Somewhat. Uh, it seems that we're talking about a return that's greater than six to one. Okay. The two point improvement in feed conversion. It's very important. And then the one pound additional body weight at the end is worth quite a bit, too. So it's it seems to be, you know, a very good return on investment at this point. And you mentioned about on the weight gain and the, the feed conversion. Um, you know, what about feed intake? Does it seem to impact feed intake? I, I would think just with this glucose metabolism, just, you know, a lot of times, I mean, feed intake is half the battle. If we can just keep, especially if we think about heat stress or, or other stressors where feed intake is, is reduced, does it, does it help on feed intake specifically? Any? Well, in the study that we did through 12 weeks of age, feed intake uh -huh. is not increased by chromium. So it was an improved feed efficiency response that we were seeing. Uh, in some of the longer term studies, Yes, feed intake has increased somewhat, but okay. we're still, when we correct for uh, everything, we're, we're still looking at a two-point improvement in sure, feed conversion. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dr. Spears, you were mentioning about uh, the potential maybe for this chemtrace chromium to reduce the time to market. Can you talk a little bit about the mechanism and give us more detail on that? Well, it seems like it's increasing uh, muscle tissue. So once the muscle growth is complete, we're going to start seeing fat being laid down, which is less efficient. So I think the data would suggest that maybe we can market these birds a week or two earlier okay, and yeah. uh, same, have the same amount of muscle tissue and uh, maybe less fat. And uh, certainly that would help in terms of feed cost. Yeah, absolutely. We know that the birds are really uh, eating a lot of feed in those last days. And, and obviously the, you know, cost to the producer for every day at that point uh, from the housing costs is, is an advantage to reduce that too. So that could be a big advantage. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's next moving forward with uh, the Chemtrace Chromium? Um, any, any new information out there that, that um, the audience can be expecting? Well, uh, certainly it's early. Chromium was just approved for turkeys last year, 2024. But uh, I think studies need to be done to really look at lean tissue. Uh, what is going on? And uh, can we actually, you know, maximize that lean tissue sooner with chromium so that we can shorten the, the grow out period? Well, great. Well, anything you want to add to the conversation today for the audience to be on the lookout for? I'll just say Anybody's interested in chromium, I published a review article this year that covers all sources of chromium that have been approved for animals. Uh, it includes swine, ruminants, uh, broilers, turkeys, and horses. And uh, there's two sources approved for swine, chromium picolinate and chromium propionate. For cattle, horses, broilers, and turkeys, the only source approved that's been through FDA is uh, Kim Trace Chromium Propionate. Okay, very good. And which journal was that uh, article published in? Journal of Applied Animal Science. Okay, Journal of Applied Animal Science. So uh, that ought to help people because I know if, you know, uh, the, the audience uh, just gets into a search a database and looks at spears and, and trace minerals, uh, you had to weed through a lot of papers to maybe get to the right one. So I uh, really appreciate that. So, uh, well, thanks again, Dr. Spears. Great to hear uh, what you continue to do on this and your contributions in, in the field of trace mineral nutrition and, and really excited to see you still working in this area. So thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you all for listening for another episode of the Poultry Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe and follow us on your favorite platform. Uh, until the next one, this is Sam Rochel uh, signing off. Thank you.